the way Jimmy Spicer talked about being a superhero through rap, I felt like I could be a superhero too. My first memory of hip hop. I grew up in Oakland, California in the Bay Area. You know, I grew up around a lot of music. My mother played a lot of music in our household. A lot of Commodores, a lot of Earth, Wind & Fire, a lot of, you know, Stevie Wonder. We used to listen to a lot of local radio stations on our transistor radios at that time. We had little transistor radios that had AM and FM stations on it. In Northern California, in San Francisco, there was a radio station called k -Poo. There was uh, DJs by the name of KK and another one by the name of Marcus Clemens. Marcus Clemens and KK pretty much were the purveyors of hip hop culture to us through music and sound. Hip hop was new at this time. We're talking uh, late 70s when I first started listening to um, K-Pool in early 80s. And there was a song called Super Rhymes by an artist named Jimmy Spicer. And that song ignited something in me as a kid. And I would cover my head with covers and just listen to these guys talk about music. And when this song Super Rhymes came on, uh, it really captivated my mind, my imagination, um, the way Jimmy Spicer talked about being a superhero through rap uh, really resonated with me because I felt like I could be a superhero too. Your name is Super Rhymes, you'll be an MC, so then my father put me on all media right. Sent me to Earth to rock the mic. It's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's soup, 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 or rhyme, 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 rhyme. In 1983, one of the things that even brought me closer to hip hop was a movie called Star Wars. It's a matter of getting a tag on each line. It's called going all city. He's going all city. I mean, to what end? And the Star Wars documentary kind of, it's kind of like a documentary movie about, uh, you know, writing about graph culture. And I realized then by listening to these songs and watching movies like Star Wars and then, um, Wild Style uh, right after that uh, and just seeing how hip hop was being curated. Wild Style for me was the movie that showed all the elements and this is how we do this thing. This is what this culture is made up of. It was the platform, it was the voice for people who felt disenfranchised and that created their own world, their own way of existing, their own standards, you know, um, their own form of expression. You know, we're talking these circumstances, the relationship, the dynamic between uh, policing and the citizens of these communities. We're talking about inequities, all these different things that were happening created this byproduct that we call hip hop. 